well. Uh, for my the fourth communication journal that I, like I will be doing for this class, um, it kind of hit me home here. Uh, the the campaign called "Don't Mess with Texas." Uh, this campaign was made in 1985, and it was to keep littering off the road because I mean in Texas driving is a very huge part and and with driving comes litter sometimes and you know people got tired of it so Texas did something about it and this don't mess with Te Texas campaign was to just tell people to stop littering and because you know what we love our state and we love having it be beautiful so proud Texans are always proud about their state and they want it to be beautiful and be sure they're really proud about it. So what they did um, for my analysis really was in 1985 they usually did, uh, they started out with bumper stickers like don't mess with taxes, keep living off the roads, but in 1987 they started doing uh, commercials which are the more key part and the more the things that I noticed when uh, when I was a kid growing up and still to this day when I was in Texas watching commercials. Um, and what they did every year was uh, they would, every year they'd have a famous person for their commercial. And a most notable one going through the Wikipedia page and looking at the list of the people um, who sponsored this would, uh, would of course be like Louie Nelson. I think by far is the most famous person on that list and you know who doesn't like Willie Nelson is I mean Willie Nelson. Like him or not, he's still a legend. So um I think like this is what they did to really inform people about it. So the analysis really is telling them like, hey, fine is up to like two grand if you litter, so don't do it. And as far as I can tell, it mean it works to an extent. Of course it's not it's not perfect, but you know, it works. Um, to interpret it is like, you know, they tried solving a problem and they um, they just want to warn people of the hazards of like messing with Texas and they, you know, like uh, it's just, you know, it was a great campaign and, you know, they just did it to educate people. It's like, would you do this to your, uh, for example, one commercial I remember is like a guy carrying on a Coke and he like throws it at his like mother, like pours the Coke all over his mother and throws the trash at her. And uh, it was like, if you went pour like the coke on your mother, would you like throw it like on the, the ground in Texas? I mean, like it's kind of like stupid and cheesy to an extent, but like I think it gets the point across. And like evaluating, it's like what I evaluated as is like, like it was it was good because it like educated people, it like it gave common knowledge to people who don't mess with Texas. And you know now that like by now it's like a common phrase, like you know like don't mess with Texas. It's just like a slogan that we have, like there's t-shirts, bumper stickers, commercials, like it's just, it's everywhere that you see and like it's just, for me, like it like, hits me home, like kind of thing. And, like bad, I don't see anything, like the only bad form of communication I can get like from this is like people taking it the wrong way. Like when you think don't mess with Texas, they're thinking it's just being a, you know, a cat, like a normal arrogant Texan thinking like his, like, his state is amazing and like don't mess with Texas. It's just the only way I can see it is if the message is miscommunicated. So um, to really engage in that though is to really engage is just basically don't let it. That's really the only way that the main way to engage this and just tell everyone don't mess with Texas. And I mean, of course, living in Chicago, Illinois now, I can tell people just like, hey, don't let it. But no, um, I can't. Well, I can't. Don't mess with Illinois. It just doesn't sound right. I just I'll leave it by saying don't let her. So that's my spiel on don't mess with Texas, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it.